Olivia Wilde and more celebrities are speaking out after the Supreme Court struck down a century-old New York law that placed strict limits on carrying concealed weapons outside the home. The court ruled on June 23 that the law which required applicants demonstrate proper cause and good moral character violates the Second Amendment. The Tron star took to her Instagram stories shortly after news broke on the controversial law. We are a fed, she captioned a repost from the NY Times which explained that the decision has far-reaching implications, particularly in cities that had sought to address gun crimes by putting restrictions on who can carry them. Olivia and comedian Amy Schumer reposted a tweet from Supreme Court lawyer Neil Kajal which read, Gonna be very weird if Supreme Court ends a constitutional right to obtain an abortion next week, saying it should be left to the states to decide, right after it just imposed a constitutional right to concealed carry of firearms, saying it cannot be left to the states to decide. The train wreck star captioned the post, I'm buggin'. Extremely so. Alyssa Milano, who is known for her political and social activism, also spoke out on the law. The Supreme Court basically just gutted the ability to regulate guns pretty much at all, the charmed actress captioned a retweet. Beaches star Bette Midler shared her thoughts as she took to social media and posted, Don't tell me this SCOTUS isn't completely partisan. Shame, shame. Shame on the conservative members of this ridiculous, laughable court. Hashtag Scott who sees a joke. The New York law requires that people who want to obtain a license to carry a handgun outside their home show a proper cause. And according to briefs filed in this case, several other states have similar laws including New Jersey, Rhode Island, California, Maryland, Massachusetts, and Hawaii. Vice President Kamala Harris shared her thoughts on the controversy as she took to Twitter shortly after news broke. Today's Supreme Court ruling on guns is deeply troubling as it defies common sense and the Constitution. Lives are at stake. Congress should pass the bipartisan gun safety proposal immediately and continue to do more to protect our communities, she tweeted. Kamala's niece, Mina Harris, also tweeted, Guns are more protected than women's bodies, 